so i'm going to show you the best settings for video mappers not mappers but settings in order to achieve the best video output whenever you're mixing your videos using the virtual dj 2020 welcome so i've uh, i've uh, called my videos here in the browser and I've chosen to use my own video since I don't want copyright strikes in the YouTube. Now, if you look this at uh, this video here is fitting to the screen exactly the way I want or you may want. But there is another output or preview screen here. This preview window, whenever you are doing mixes, you must make sure that the video that is shown here is filling all the spaces here or if not filling is leaving some small space on the top and from the lower part otherwise your video will not be okay if the space is not filled well so how do you do that regardless of the video height and width if you don't fill this space you are likely to suffer a very very pathetic we'll see a pathetic video output once mixing so for you to be on a server side i want to show you how to set that if i play my video here you can see it's playing well and it's filling all the spaces but i may have another video maybe which may not fill that space very well oh that one is also fitting the space very well but if I may do something like this, the video was fitting the screen, but if you can see there is a gap here, there is also a gap here. So whatever you are recording, if you are recording a video here, let me say I am recording a video there. This is what I am likely to see after recording. The video will be have, having a very very big height and a very small width something that can make your audience run away from you so to avoid that i've said you must come here you stretch the video until you see that it's best fitting that preview window up there and then i stretch this one out now i can see the clear video and then i will stretch this one down and then I can reduce this one, reduce, look at what's happening here, I want to cover this space, I reduce, but still there is, uh, the iron sheets are not clear, they are, they are very clear, yes now, you can see the video now is very 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 okay if i load a next video on the deck the video will also be fitting the space as i require i mean as i wanted Okay, this one is for video output and on the preview window. There are other settings that you may need to do in your video. See that whenever you are doing or whenever you are mixing your video, the output will not be occupying like 2 GB or 4 GB of size. Something that may give you headache in thinking on how to change it so you may need to come here you may need to come here to not mappers but options and then under options you deselect the most used settings to show all scroll down until you see video So you can see the map the settings are so many uh, 
my video settings are shown here then look at this video frames per second the basic i mean the default value is 30 but with me i set it to 60 so that whenever i'm playing music heavy music like hip-hop which are playing at low speed i'll be able to see a clear movement of pictures then another setting is on the resample quality make sure you set it to high if you want a high quality video but it will also use your cpu but with me i've installed the nvidia get force graphics something that is uh, making my computer not hang at any given time and also you may need to have these uh, micro frames micro frames are very useful whenever you're doing scratches if you're scratching through your video then you need a microscope a micro frame set to smart eh? all always then i scroll down another setting in my first tutorial i showed you how to change a logo then this one if you don't want to change the logo you can leave the virtual dj to appear down there but that's that one does not give a very good impression for a dj you need to change your logo to your own and then use video skin you uncheck this one you say no if you say yes whatever you are going to to play will be shown here if you drop an effect like the boom will be shown here if you put a video sampler to be shown here when you play it will be shown so it's good for you to uncheck the use video skin you say no when you say no it start it disappears like that then you can you scroll down to recording or record and do some one or two configuration there so i've chosen my record format as mp4 and then the record quality is high if you don't have a big disk space use low and the record auto start i set it to no see that it will be waiting for sound the record wait for sound is yes and then no when you say auto start it will start immediately if you set it to no it will start immediately as you say record but if you say yes it will be start starting from where it wants sorry to say where it wants but that is it may delay to start recording and then we have a record override say file change that's that it changes the file name and then this is the most tricky and important part we always want to maintain this ratio here 16 to ratio 9 how do you achieve that see that it can fit in the nts that is the new technology screen that you see on your computers so if you want it to fit into that screen you must maintain this ratio 16 to ratio 9 so if you take 852 divide by 408 18 not 8 you will get something like uh, 1.775 something that gives you something a ratio close to 16 to ratio 9 which is basically 1.7777 so i chose this as well you can change this one to 3 or 4 it will give you the same level but i prefer using 4 so this is all about the video settings don't tamper with this 24 is not compatible 16 is compatible with many devices thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom of the video